Welcome to Game Epoch, the show where I play through the history of video games in the order of their release, starting with Super Mario Bros. and the Nintendo. I'm Mystic Dan, and today I'm playing Metroid. So I decided to go ahead and pull up a map, just so that we can get through this a little faster. Um, you may find it worthwhile and enjoyable to just try doing this yourself on your own. Uh, let me see where this takes me, I actually don't remember exactly where this is. That's there. Okay, let's head back. Oh, excuse me. All the way down to over here. Ah! Go through that. The, there's, there's a lot of stuff you want to get before you move on too far. Just for the sanity's sake. So to start off, we will go through this door. Up here. Alright. And you can't hold the button, uh, the B button to just shoot, you just gotta tap it really fast. Ow! Ow! Oh, these things do so much damage. Give me health! Jeez, even if you tried that, you might not know that that would work unless you use all of them. So, this is iconic. This statue is a bird-like race called the Chozo. Um, there's a lot of lo- oh, there's, that's kind of fun. <laughs> and the ball comes back too. But there's nothing there. So those are Chozo statues, and they will hold- Ah, you notice? My beam is now shooting all the way across the screen. Whoa! So that'll make that a whole lot more useful. Oh, gosh! Okay. <laughs> so you'll be able to actually, like, shoot things from afar and... Oof! Have a chance of killing things before they reach you. Oh, I can't reach it. Still lots that we can get before we move on. I mean, the problem is that you have no idea what you can even expect to get in the game, um, where to go. Let me just check where I should head to next. Yeah, I don't want to go there yet. That's not till much later. Um, can't do that yet, so it's time to head back over down here. Okay. And unfortunately, you can't shoot down. Um, some major features added in Super Metroid. Um, you can use the shoulder buttons on the Super Nintendo controller to aim diagonally up or down. Um, and you can also kneel. You can crouch, um, which is really handy to be able to shoot lower down. And you can shoot jump down and uh, jump, point down and shoot so you can shoot straight down. It's really nice to be able to do that. I can't go up there still, so I, I think I need to go back up and yeah, I'll just go straight across. Ow! Ugh, that was dumb. Let's go through here. So, Metroid came from a really strange combination of, um, I think Android and Metro? It's a little strange. Um, let me see if that's exactly what he says. Yeah, Metro and Android, a portmanteau. So apparently, when they were making this game, they were in a very, like, free uh, environment to work, where they were able to just kind of...
do what they wanted to do and make a lot of their own decisions. They didn't have a whole lot of oversight from any of the other bigwigs like Miyamoto and um, any of those guys, and they just kind of did their thing. Uh, came up with a lot of their own unique ideas and just kind of went went crazy with them and tried things, whether anyone would have thought they would have worked or not. Um, and the reception for this game at first was fairly minimal, um, especially in Japan. It went a little better in America, for whatever reason, we just really like our freedom. <laughs> Even in our gameplay, um, where we like being able to have the option of, if we see something, being able to just do it. Not fans of limitations. Uh, I don't necessarily share that with a lot of my fellow Americans. I, I, I like just when things are well designed and fun. Oh crap, I'm totally dead. Ugh. Whoa, what happened? Aw, oh, no! Okay, well, I died. I can at least see... Oh, is that a real password? I'm gonna have to try to take a photo of this. I'm <laughs> gonna use my phone. Alright, let's take a look. Come on. There we go. That's a bit unfortunate. I was hoping I wouldn't die. Can I just straight up continue from this, or... Yeah, I think if I just don't, uh... Turn off the system, I'll start over from where I was. Yeah, I've got, uh, no. Yeah, I've got missiles in the long beam, so we're good. But yeah, it's starting me all the way over here, so it's... It's a bit rough. And you can understand, just from that death, why this might get, uh... Kind of overwhelming and make it very easy for you to want to just say, I'm done. I am so lost, I haven't been doing a good job of keeping track of where everything is, I don't really want to bother with this, and... It's very understandable how people would lose their patience for this. Um... But yeah, so this was better received in America. It came out in Japan in 86, came out here in America in 87, and was actually released in Europe, um, a year later, so Europe got it. A lot of games that Europe did not get. Europe has gone chef so many times with with uh, video games, um, but they got these, at least this one. So they've been able to enjoy these like the rest of us. So that's good. <sighs> yeah, I gotta figure out where I am. So I, I apologize. I'm gonna be kind of uh, distracted with this just because I want to make sure that I'm not getting too lost. And, uh, that I don't take too long getting to the next places and getting the next power-up, because I want to keep it interesting. This game, um, if you have the patience for it, and you really like the idea of being rewarded for careful exploration and cartography, <laughs> you know, drawing your map and, and keeping track of where things are and stuff like that, then you very well may enjoy just exploring this game the proper way. Um, but most of us aren't just not gonna be able to have the patience for it. I certainly don't. At all. It's kind of fun to do it when I have, you know, I know what I need to do when I've got the walkthroughs and, st and stuff like that. Where, is this the right path? Yes, this is a right path. What is up here, though? Yeah, I didn't want to go there, so I do want to go this way. Sorry, I'm forgetting things so fast already. Um, and I think that's about time for... Okay, not quite yet. I got another minute. So, yeah, I'm, just, I'm gonna be a little more, uh, distracted in this, so I'm sorry for that. But yeah, um... The later games in this series are much, much better. At least I feel like they are. Super Metroid is one of those games that I can just pick up and play as many times as I want to. I can't get sick of it. Um, it took me a long time, uh, in my life, of playing it before I finally was able to get to the point where I enjoy picking it up and just playing it for the fun of it. Because I didn't like how open-ended it was and that I could get so lost. I, I like games that have a little more direction. At least historically I do. Um, and, I don't know, maybe I've just 
develop more of a taste for wanting to hope that I can figure things out and not necessarily wanting everything super spelled out for me, but I don't mind having pretty clear direction on where I should be going. It's definitely not a downside <laughs> for me. Um, I don't want it to be like super duper easy and like... I definitely feel like a lot of modern games where they've got the map indicator that are just showing you exactly where you need to go. I kind of feel like things can get lost where you definitely just focus too much on... Oh wow, that's interesting. It just froze on me. Well, alright. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let me just hit reset. Sorry about that. That's embarrassing. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call that an episode since I just got screwed. Let's see if I can... Oh, that's bizarre. What is going on? Okay, let's see if I can enter this password and then I'll move on to the next episode because if I can't get straight through this, I'm gonna have a lot of crap I'm gonna have to do. I think I should be able to. Zero, 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 zero. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. 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 <laughs> and lowercase i. Yeah, I was a little worried that that might have been a glitch, but nope, they have lowercases too. Not too used to using passwords in my day. Uppercase i and lowercase m. There we go, and it's, it starts me here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen to me again. Where it just freezes, because that was a bummer. Alright, yeah, I'll call this an episode, and I will get past this to uh, a missile door before I pick this back up. So, thanks for checking out Game of Hawk. I will see you guys in the next episode. This is Mystic Dan, signing out. Bye.